people ask us, why do you bother with this? Why do you do this? What's the point of doing any of this? Well, there's actually two reasons for that. Reason number one is just because we're a lowly bus operator doesn't mean we're not entitled to have our opinions and attempt to sway the organization to move in a direction that we might desire. That's the main point. Fred Hansen and the board and the executive staff pretty much have sole control over the destiny of the organization. And the bus operators are pretty much not really in the decision-making process. So the reason number one is that we are attempting to influence policy at the highest levels. And we do this by having our outside mechanism. You know, we're not hooked into any committees or any boards or any tri-members. Sponsoring activities, we're able to influence our public opinion via our independent news network, which is what makes good for money. And then there's reason number two, and that is to transform a generally dull and lifeless job into something fun and exciting. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm interested in it. I mean, the job of a bus operator is a fascinating thing if you look at it from a proper perspective. If you look at it as just a way to make money and you just have no other interest in what you're doing other than it's a job to make money, well, then you can do that. But there's some of us that look at our jobs as more than just a way to make money. It's a look into a social, economic, psychological part of humanity that is worth looking at. And so that's reason number two. I don't just come to show up to make money. I come to learn from the people I meet and things I do and the whole experience because there's more to life than making money. This is why we do what we do. Here's the point. 